Hi, this is Robbie from Southern California. And as many of you already know, I am forever feeding hummingbirds and doing all kinds of things for hummingbirds and other birds as well. And today I wanna to talk about how to make the easiest nectar, homemade nectar that you can do at home. And it will cost you pennies compared to what it would cost you if you went to buy pre-made hummingbird nectar. A lot of them already have dye in it. We don't need dye, the birds don't need it. Don't put it in, they're not looking for it. We'll go over the simple facts of what you need. And it is so easy, you'll say, why in the world did I ever buy it? Keep in mind, I started with one or two birds too, and it has now gone into the thousands, especially as they're migrating through, and I have had as many as 4,000 here at a time. It is a simple food to make, it is exactly what they need, and I'll explain it here before we get into it. Hummingbirds need white table sugar, white granulated sugar, and you would go, why? People can't eat it or they shouldn't be eating it. Here's the thing, white sugar, the regular table sugar that's been processed is sucrose, and that is the only thing their body can metabolize. Sucrose is very much like the nectar they're finding in flowers. Now, they'll feed on your feeders if they cannot find enough in the flowers around. And due to so many issues like weed abatement or people simply not planting as many flowers or wildflowers being cleared out, they can't find enough. And that is why their numbers now are building because we're helping them. If we don't help them, their numbers will decline. If a hummingbird cannot find enough food, they are literally hours away from the end of their life. This is why it's so crucial for us to help them. And a lot of you that say we shouldn't be helping them, well, we shouldn't be clearing to build houses and parking lots and structures all over either, and then they would have enough. But we can't do that. Society has changed, so all we can do is help them, and that's actually fine. We help ourselves with things, planting gardens and bringing in extra food if we don't have enough money or we want to ha eat healthy, I should say. But the thing is, we can help them in the same fashion by adding the extra food that they need to keep them going. And do not kid yourself. They will forage when they can find it, whether it's orange blossoms on a tree or wildflowers in the hills. Remember the wildflower bloom we had? They took off. I had thousands of hummingbirds, and when you heard there is a massive bloom of wildflowers this year, let me tell you something, they were all gone within two days. Just a few hundred left here that are local residents. They know, nature tells them where to go and when to go, but when they can't find it, they'll come to you, and why not? So let's get into how to make this nectar, which is so easy, and now I think you'll understand why it has to be white granulated sugar, that is, yes, processed. Cane sugar is a little better, but regular beet sugar, sugar beet is fine too, as long as it's white processed sugar, which is actually sucrose, exactly what they need for their body. And that they can metabolize, that will keep them going to go into the gardens to find flowers and insects and pollen and nectar. And when they don't find enough or they need that little boost, they'll come to your feeder to be fed. One last point, raw sugar, maple syrup, honey, all that cannot be metabolized by their body, including fruit juice. Please don't put that out because it could be to their demise. White granulated sugar only. And of course, adding flowers to a deck, a patio, or your garden is also wonderful and perfect to help the hummingbirds out too, which we do. So let's get into how to make this food at home and you'll find out it's so simple to do. So you only need two ingredients, sugar and water, no red dye. So let's get in and I'll show you exactly how easy it is to make. Because of the method I use with hot water, it's good to start with a glass bowl, anything Pyrex. You need a quarter of a cup of white table sugar. It can be sugar beet, you know, beet sugar or cane sugar and hot water. We're gonna put in a half a cup of hot water. The reason I'm doing that is I want to melt that sugar. So you're gonna stir it up and as soon as it melts like that and it's so quick, you add in a half a cup of cold water. So it is quarter of a cup of sugar to one cup of water. That's it, you are done. This is a recipe. So a quarter of a cup of sugar and one cup of water and that is all the ingredients you need. 
and test it. Make sure it's not too warm. And if it's not, go ahead, wash your feeder out and put it in there. Now you can store this in the refrigerator for up to about five to seven days. So put out small amounts as needed. And like I said, it can be cane sugar, or beet sugar. Beet sugar may be GMO, cane sugar may not. It is sometimes as well. But the main thing is it, it has been processed and turned into sucrose, both. The white table sugar is sucrose. That's all you need to do. Now, wash your feeder, put out a small amount. If you've only got a few birds, this way you're not wasting it and you wanna leave it outside for about two to three days. If for any reason you see it looks like there's something not right with it, definitely take it in. And you can use your own tap water as long as you can drink it, because after all, they're out in the garden drinking your water that's coming out of your hoses. And there is no need to boil all the water. Unless you want to, I do not. There's a myth out there saying you have to boil it so you don't get mold. The mold is actually being brought in by the birds because they're into everything. And when they feed in there, they're bringing in bits of stuff. And that's why it gets dirty. And that's why we should clean it really every few days. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.